Oh yeah. Nice tarpon. Oh, one right there, right there. Oh, it's freaking cold, baby. Think I'm good. About <laughs> to hook one right now. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> We're on a poon. <laughs> Probably, so you get ready. Oh yeah, make sure you get that hook real good in that fish. <laughs> that is how you start off the morning, boys. Second cast of the morning, and we're on a big poon. Probably about a 50 pound fish. Get right behind my fish right here, Connor. Nah, I don't, I don't see him yet, it's too dark, but. There you have it. Boy laser. Brought this fish in pretty quick. Yeah, for sure. I'm have to get a little double up here. I'm trying to see if there's another one behind him. Oh yeah. We'll take it. Nice fish, guys. Nice fish. Oh yeah, baby. Let's freaking go. Connor, if you want, grab a tray tail and a paddle tail from the box right here. Just so you can have it on you. Right now we're just tiring out the fish. Yep. Dude, all these fish in here are super healthy. Came off perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. We didn't want to get the fish out the water or anything. Just a quick little uh, up to the dock and call it a day. So one fish down, still bright and early. So we got plenty more fish to hook and uh, we'll be back in action right now. All right now I'm throwing the throwing the straight tail. Got him. Oh, got him on the straight tail, guys. Came off, but we'll take it. All right, I wasn't recording, but we just took a nice tarpon on the. NLV and K tail. Here we go, guys. There's a ton of tarpon rolling all around us right now. Wow, dude. Badass. Whew. That's sick. That is sick. <laughs> You're right. This guy smoked a five inch K tail. Now the real question is, how are we gonna land this guy? That is sick. Oh yeah. Real nice fish, guys. Right in the corner of the mouth with that B BKK hook. Whew, let's freaking go, baby. Nice fish on. Sick, dude. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see right there. Gonna have to walk this fish down. There's some megas. Yeah. Real, real, real. Oh, this guy does not want to give up, dude. 
All right, I think he's about done. All right, you guys, so it's a little bit tricky of a spot to land the fish. We're not gonna be able to pull them out the water, but solid 50 pound tarpon all day. And there you have it. Just landed them, just grabbed them right by the lips. We're gonna go ahead. We're just gonna go ahead, de-hook this fish, and uh, send him right back on his way. Oh my God, they're going nuts. Wow, look at that, perfect cast. Oh, perfect cast. You ready for this? You ready for this? Just had one. Swerved on it. Come on, commit, commit it. Oh, that, right when I turn around. Oh, oh nice fish. <laughs> there you go. Set the hook in him again. Oh, tighten that drag, tighten that drag. Connor's on, Connor's on. Connor's on a nice tarpon. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Let me get right behind you. Yeah, buddy. Nice fish. Oh, he jumped off. We'll take it. I was just blind casting. Oh, on the drop! On the drop! Oh, it's a star, man! That's a launch! Oh, I broke them all! Oh! Dude, that thing was 150 pounds. Oh! I held, I held my spool to get a hook set in them. Oh, I fumbled that. Wow. Dude, ate it on the drop. Oh, that was rough. Dang, dude. You're going to have to retie. <laughs> what happened, Connor? Right when I lose my... Oh, right when I lose my fish, he's on. Let's freaking go, baby. <laughs> no way. Brain must have been bad, dude. No freaking oh, way. That's too brave. We gotta go retie. Let's go. We gotta go retie. All right, so here we go. Just rigged on a fresh head, fresh tail, fresh piece of leader. And uh, just seen a couple fish roll right here in front of us. We're gonna try to hook up. As you guys saw that last fish, total Guggen move. Um, I seen the fish come out the water. It was an absolute giant, 150 plus pounder. Biggest fish so far that we've hooked out of this canal system. And uh, I held the spool as you guys saw and set that hook. And I, I just, I forgot I had 60 pound leader and not 80 pound. And sadly that fish just clean snapped me off. That was a super Guggen move of me, but I'm not too worried. I know we're gonna get hooked up any second now again. So just bear with us and this should be pretty instant. All right, game time. Once again, we re-rigged re, uh, and tied on some new tails and Connor's up here in front of me. There's a couple more tarpon rolling around, so hopefully we'll knock out a couple more fish before the afternoon ends. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I get so hyped that I'm about to hook a nice poon. I don't know what it is. It's I get just that. It's hard, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that thump, you know? That thump is just. There's no better feeling, bro. Just them eating it, like on the fall especially, it's just like, doink. It is like a doink. It's crazy. Something happened, that's for sure. Oh, wow, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, yeah, I'm about to hook up right now. You ready for this? You ready for this?
Oh, give me that bite. I want it bad. Give it to me. Ooh. Dude, the dump from these tarpon is so freaking intense, guys. It's actually incredible. Oh, right here. Oh. Wow, wow. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Wow, that fish came up super fired up on the bait. <sighs> Come on. We need to get at least one fish today. Oh, one fish, you've got multiple fish. There you go. There he is. Oh yeah, baby. Not a giant. Probably only about 30 pound fish. Yeah, we got him. Gotta make sure that, that hook's in there real good. There he is. Yeah, he's done for. That hook is right where it's supposed to be, right in the corner of the lip. Should be a pretty quick fight. Probably the smallest fish we've hooked out of here so far. Just around 30 pounds. Give me a jump, give me a jump. You ready for it? He's about to jump. Or maybe not. Kind of see if there's fish following him. Whew. What a beauty. Another fish down, baby. This fish, we could actually pull this one out the water. He's just just small enough to be able to take out the water. Call him a fun size. Right now, guys, I just had my tarpon up and down and a couple tarpon came right up to him. So Honda just cast it. He's trying to get a double up real quick and we'll be landing hopefully this fish, if not two fish in just a second. Oh yeah. As y'all just saw, I had a nice tarpon on about 30 pounder, probably the smallest one we've ever hooked out of this canal. There's a couple rolling right here in front of me right now again, but um, Connor's rod, it seems to have a chipped guide or something because his line keeps on getting frayed and it cut his line a ton of times already and he's got pretty much low line. So right now he's using my rod and he's trying to get on a tarpon. He's actually filming a YouTube video as well. So if you guys want to check out his page and watch his video, you get different angles of us hooking fish and seeing all the fish he hooked and then all the fish I hooked. So just stay tuned. Hopefully we'll get bit now in just a second. And uh, it's just They're a, nuts, yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to walk down. There's a bunch of fish rolling. We'll be right back. As soon as, we, as soon as Connor hooks up, I'll start the GoPro and start recording again. There we go, guys. Oh yeah, nice tarpon on the street tail, baby. To the hook. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Whew. Get up in there, Austin. Remember, get right behind my. You got the paddle tail on, right? Got a couple hooks on that fish. I know he's pinned pretty good. Oh. Yeah, we got them. Smaller fish, probably about maybe 50 pounds. Still a good fish though. Oh, there he goes. Oh yeah. Is 
Come on. You're right behind my tarpon, remember? Right behind my fish, right behind my fish. Oh, right there, right behind him. Right there, right there. Yep, we're really doing nice and steady. Austin might get smoked right here by a tarpon. Jig it, jig it. No, now steady, steady. Cast up behind my fish again. There's usually a bunch of fish that are right behind the fish that you hook, which are, which are a bunch of followers. So Austin's trying to see right now if there's any fish following my tarpon in. Doesn't seem like it. I saw one just a second ago. So right now we just gotta tire out the fish and walk them down to the edge. Not a bad one. Yeah, it's a solid 50 pound fish right there. On the eight inch straight tail, midday, pretty sweet. What we're trying to mimic is a ladyfish. That's exactly what he got fooled for. Oh, right behind him, right behind him, right behind him. Check that out, we got a follower. Hurry up, dude, hurry up, hurry up. Just drop it straight down right there next to my tarpon. Drop it right there, straight down. Right there. Make him look at it. Oh my. You almost had. Oh, he's coming back for it. Cast it behind my fish. Cast it right behind my fish. Reel it in, reel it in, reel it in. Quick, 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 quick. Drop it. Cast behind my fish again. Oh, you turned around for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, get your lure in there. Get your lure in there. Get your lure in there. Oh, get your lure in there. Hurry up, reel it, reel it. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. He's on it. Oh, look at that whole school of tarpon. Yep, right behind my fish, dude. One turning around for it. One turning around. Oh. Oh, cast again, cast again, cast again. We're about to get a double up. We're about to get a double up. <laughs> Guys, I'm just letting my fish get tired. While we're doing that, we're trying to get another tarpon to come up. No, oh, cast again. Cast Austin just had one. Austin just had one. Oh, nice and steady, nice and steady. Oh, let's freaking go, baby. Oh, get the hook in there. Get the hook in there again. No come on, we almost just had a double up. Oh, one behind him again. One behind him again. Cast again, cast again, Austin. Cast again, cast again. Dude, that was an insane eat. That was so epic. Oh, one right there, right there. Oh, let's freaking go, baby. Stick them good. Stick them good. Stick them good. That's what I like to see, baby. <laughs> Get under me. Get under me. Do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. All right. Now we just got to fight these fish real easy, Austin, and we're going to walk them down and land them, right? Oh, yeah. That was badass, guys. Back to back tarpon action. Yeah. Not at the same time, but dude, oh, oh. Cast, cast behind my fish, cast behind my fish. Hurry up, tarpon all, all, look at that giant, look at that giant. 120 pounder behind my fish. Oh, this is insane if we can get a triple up, wow. That was absolutely insane. As you guys just saw, me and Austin hit an insane double up right there. I had my tarpon, fought him for about a couple minutes and then a school of tarpon came right behind mine like I was telling you guys about. And what do you know, Austin hooks up within two, three casts. We both walk our tarpon down. His ended up jumping off sadly. And then mine, for some reason, snapped my line. I don't know what it was exactly, but so we're rigging on a new bait, rigging on some new leader and getting right back to the action. And hopefully we'll get another fish real shortly. Stay tuned. Alrighty, here we go. We're gonna get right back to the action. Right where we left off, I just took a cast. Forgot to start the GoPro, but I said, let me turn it on before something crazy happens. I'm 
out of hook one right now. Yeah, like that, right? Look at my leaves. That's how you want to be here. What's wrong with your hook? Oh, see, it's hard to control. What's wrong with your hook? The jack. You need to follow me. Oh. There we go. Let's go, baby. Oh, wow. Nice fish. Nice oh yeah. Like oh yeah, baby. Nice tarpon. This one's a bit bigger, probably around 80 pounds. Oh yeah, let's go, baby. Wow, check him out. Oh, let me go a little easy on him. Wow, dude. Launch your bait behind my tarpon. Launch your bait behind my fit tarpon. Launch it way out that way. They're probably gonna smoke it out there in the middle. <laughs> Got smacked in the head with a reel. <laughs> All right, my fish is coming up, so follow them. We're gonna try to get another another double up right here, guys. Same deal, rocking the straight tail. And this tarpon came up and smoked it. Get ready, Austin. He's about to take a run right now. Oh yeah, well you just had a giant on you. Giant on you. Cast by my fish. Yeah, just like that, perfect. Might be able to just get a little leader grab here. Like I said guys, we're not trying to take any of these carpet out the water. We're just gonna get a little leader touch out of each and, each and every one of these fish. So that's what we've been doing. We're gonna stick to it. Fish is way too big to take out the water. Oh, that would have been money, dude. Oh, look at all those tarpon right behind him. Bunch of tarpon right behind him. Right there, dude, Austin, I needed you to get that. Come on, get that. I think he's about done. That's his slob right there. Oh. Watch out your line, watch out your line. There he is. You gonna jump. You ready? Yeah, ready for it. Tiring this fish out. <clears throat> there he is. Dang, this GoPro does not do justice. Check out the girth on. Whoa, talk about an absolute hot mess, guys. So I try to jump in the water and get a video with for you guys with that tarpon. And uh right when I was debating it, I ended up jumping in and uh the tarpon comes off the hook. I didn't get no oh just add one. No video, no picture. And um yeah, tarpon swam away right in front of my face. And we got a giant rolling right up here. I just had one swerve on my bait. Missed the bite. Oh, wow. Did you see that eat, dude? It's insane. You know what I didn't do? Tighten my drag. That's why I just lost that fish. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, you had him. Austin just had a nice tarpon on. Watch, I'm about to get dumped right here. You ready? Fuck, man, I don't want to get 
fucking jump. Oh, he scared me. Just oh. Are you fucking kidding me? No way. Just Adam. <laughs> you said a bite? Yeah. Dang, dude, I was not ready for it. I wasn't ready for that either, dude. I, that just took skin off my arm. Those were both small tarpon guys. That's why they didn't get a really good, that's why I didn't really get a good hook in them. They are probably only about 20, 30 pounds. Here we go. We got on the 9.5 inch NLVN K-tail. And there's a bunch of giant tarpon right here in front of us. Nice tarpon on the on the nine inch tail tail. Oh yeah, baby. Let me get over you, Austin. Go, 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 go. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. That is a good fish right there. I smoked it on top. I changed the retreat because they weren't eating it subsurface. And they just wanted the bait right on top. Looks like I got a good hook in this fish. Yeah, Austin, he ate it up on top. That was a freaking mission. Tarpon rolling all up in front of us. They were just teasing us and we finally got a fish to commit. Seems like a pretty good one. He's about 70 pounds maybe. The fun part is gonna be landing this damn fish. <laughs> wow, look at that. What was that? Oh, okay. 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 Kick us out right now as I got a fish on. Nice fish. All right now we just gotta play them out. Oh, no, oh, there's a couple right behind them. Hurry up, get your BK. Oh, look at all of them. There's dozens of them, dude. They're all around us. Oh my. Austin's about to get a double up right now. There's like a dozen fish tailing my fish. Oh yeah. Smoked it on the surface. Oh yeah. Here he goes. Healthy fish. This looked like the average size that was rolling. Yeah. Yeah, on this size. All right, here we go, guys. There goes the fight. Oh, look at all this. Look at the tarpon right on top. Oh wow! Took off. 
Austin's trying to get a double up. I'm gonna let this fish get a little bit more tired. And they're gonna go ahead and land him and get out of here because these people right behind us want us to leave, so. So you know there's no fishing right? Nah, I didn't know. You don't know? Nah, I didn't know. Oh, you don't know? Nah, I didn't know. Okay, so maybe you should know. Yeah, no, nah, I know. Nah, this guy uh, informed me about it. So you can go, you know, you don't, don't do that because I see that for one hour ago. To save, to save you do that. Yeah, but I gotta, I gotta get the hook out of the fish so he swims away. Yeah, so please yeah, go, go away, you know, because this is not food fishing. Well, is that food fishing? No fishing. No, we just catch and release. We're not catching to eat it. Yeah, I just told him I'm coming to release the fish and then I'm leaving. Okay, you see it. All right, here we go. Final last steps. Ooh, almost missed the step. Got on a nice. Fish right. oh, wow. So we got the fish. We're not gonna pull him out the water. He's way too big, so we're just gonna go ahead. <sighs> yeah, buddy. That right there is a nice tarpon, guys. We couldn't walk him to the to the stairs. It was way too high, so we got on this little dock, but that's about as close as we're gonna get him out the water. <sighs> wow. That's solid. Boom, just like that, we're back here at the house. I just wanted to get on here and say thank you guys so much for all the support, especially on the last video, we absolutely killed it. And since we have a ton of new subscribers, I wanted to show you guys my hobby other than just fishing. Um, I love to do diving, I love to fish obviously, and I really just enjoy the outdoors, whether I'm catching an animal or a fish or saving an animal or a fish or educating somebody on some type of wildlife and uh, I also wanted to show you guys um, all my fish or not all my fish but some of my fish that I have right here in the aquarium and uh, this is another big hobby of mine I love to collect exotic fish and right here as you can see this guy's an absolute stud this is a platinum Florida spotted gar so unlike our regular gar out here in South Florida that are just gray with dots or, or silver with dots this guy's actually a pure white and silver it's absolutely incredible and then right here this is definitely one of my top favorite fish this is a northern pike so from new jersey and all those colder states this guy is where he'll be this is where this guy will be found and this guy's got a ton more to grow all these fish in here are only about a foot long but this right here is definitely one of my favorites and i can't wait to see this guy get over two feet long and then along with that we have some phantom red tails along with some pied shovel nose catfish so this is an absolute crazy breed of catfish and both these guys can get over four feet long and over 50 60 pounds so these guys got a ton more to grow every single fish in the tank like i just mentioned is only about maybe eight to ten inches long and uh one thing i really love about these pied shovel nose i actually have three of them right here there goes the other guy and there's one more over here as well as another phantom red tail is that all these guys are extremely unique i mean there's no mixing or, or comparing one to another they're all literally a piece of artwork and um they're honestly just one of my favorite fish that i've ever owned in my whole life which is pretty hard to say because i've owned a ton of fish and then along with that we got this i can never miss this guy out, of course this is the anlachiri bicher and the closest thing I could compare him to is literally like a snake head, but on steroids. But to say the least, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And um, like always, don't forget to drop a like, drop a comment. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe if you guys have been enjoying the videos. Until then, thank y'all so much for the support. And I'll see you guys next time.